Hello, my name is Anthony and I have a YouTube channel. Most of the videos on my channel are about media, how to transfer VHS tapes to DVD using a combo recorder, how to transfer old 8mm film to DVD, and 35mm slides to DVD, and so on. But now I am branching out into a different area. I want to preface that by saying I am a layman as far as what I am presenting. I have no schooling in this area and no special skills. It's almost humorous. My brother originally came up with the thought, what if there were nuclear batteries? We talked about that as if we were joking. The idea of how practical it would be to have a nuclear battery in your car that would run the car for years, a large one in your home that would power your house. After that, we didn't even talk about it. Ideas, however, occasionally and even more recently would pop into my head about nuclear batteries. When you think about nuclear, the big nuclear reactors in use now, it is well known that they just boil water and create steam to turn a turbine to create electricity. Basically, heat and light come from nuclear reaction. Couldn't there be a more efficient and effective way to use nuclear? Thinking back to the 1950s, wristwatches at that time used radium on the numbers and hands and they would glow brightly in the dark. There were issues with radiation and they were discontinued. Couldn't it be created a nuclear light in some small, maybe 12 by 12 inch lead shield container where an amazing bright light could be shined on many tiny thin voltaic panels? I did a drawing and I want to show you my idea for a nuclear battery. It has a nuclear core in the center and photaic, photovoltaic panels. These very thin round discs or panels would have photovoltaic cells on both sides and the light from the nuclear core to both sides would create lots of light exposure. This would all be encased in a lead shielded compartment. If you want to expand on that, perhaps a larger nuclear battery could be made for the home. I have no idea if this is practical. I'm just putting it out there in the event that a physicist might see this and if there's any merit, perhaps it could be put into use and application. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please watch my other videos and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.